Okay, guys, and we're back. Trying to just shut up. It never leaves me alone. I can't sleep. Then I have blackouts. I wake up with blood all over me in an unfamiliar place. Ah, oh, that's why you don't get drunk. It happened so many times now, I can't even count them. Shut up. Kill Philip. Kill Philip. Kill AJ. Kill Philip. Kill everyone. It won't leave me alone. I'm warning you. Uh. I'm delirious with guilt most of the time. I can see your face in every poor innocent I've killed every time I close my eyes. Most evenings I cry out, cry so hard I vomit several times. Sometimes I just want the nightmare to end. Death could come right now. I'd welcome it. Oh God. Simone, let me have my tie back. Your tie, please. Oh, to hell with it. You have it, you psycho. Take. No, wait. It's not take, it's talk. No, tie. Just slip it on. Here's my emergency lockpick. Okay, then we're gonna use lockpick on the door. Here we, so there we go, unlocked. Much smell good enough. Better get to her and Jim I bought before the idol. There's salt, but we don't care about him now. He was a douchebag. See? Painting looks different. Told ya. Told you it was gonna look different. Now I'm pretty sure you go upstairs. And into the bathroom. No one here either. Where the hell is everyone? Trelby. Simone, before you say anything, I know you didn't kill Philip. I know you really didn't kill Philip. You do? I figured you were lying when you, si when you sent me away from the shed. I saw him again. Who? The killer. The guy walking with welding mask. I spotted him downstairs, but he didn't see me. I can't find Jim anywhere. Simone, you have to listen to me. The ghost? Oh, shut up about your ghost. This isn't a ghost. It's a regular flesh and blood psycho. Speak of the devil. Gotta wait for it. Rug. Yeah! I died so many times on that. Day five! I died so many times on that part. How is he? He's awake. He's fine. He doesn't remember anything, just like I didn't. Look, I only sort of half believe this possession now. But in the absence of better suggestion, I'm gonna go along with it. Of course you are! Have you been have you been going over the books I was carrying? Yeah, and some text about the occult. Apparently we have to destroy this thing, we have to get the spirit back into its own body. That makes it um I don't know. Still dangerous, but I think unkillable. We have to find the b body first. And do you know we have I don't know, I've been thinking about this, and I have a very workable theory. I've had a couple ideas of myself. Right, well, the ghost has something to do with the appearances of Matthew and Roger Defoe, right? Death 
and disappearances all started after that. Agreed. So what do you think? I don't think Swadrick's wife died naturally. Hmm, no. It's pretty obvious that the ghost is male. You don't? You read Sir Roderick's diary. It makes a reference to some monster that he helped create. And he doesn't mean Matthew. And Matthew talks about another boy in the house. A boy behind the kitchen door. Those manacles indicate that something helped him present in the basement. Where do you think his other son came from? I want to hear what you think first. Yeah, she gave birth to twins. I agree with that. I found Belinda's death certificate. She she died 20 minutes after Matthew was already out. And I think the second son that di I think it was the second son that did her in. So Isaac was great was practically insane with grief. Blamed the poor kid for her death and kept him locked up in the basement for you to even acknowledge his existence. Can you imagine what that po what, what, uh, growing up in a filthy grotto like that, like some kind of animal given no education, no love? The boy would have been completely retarded and insane. He probably couldn't even tell the difference between one person and another. That's why the killer is obviously anyone who enters the house. And he thinks that they're also Roderick and come to torment him some more. But what happened on that day 15 years later Sir Roderick and Matthew's disappearance? You found a corpses in the base. They're obvious, so they were obviously murdered. Question is, how and why? Yeah, he escaped from the basement. I agree. He was the only one who probably killed Sir Roderick and Matthew. But how had he escaped from the basement? I think someone let him out. Who? Sir Roderick. What? Remember in Sir Roderick's diary, his last in the last entry, he talks about destroying the monster. He must have gotten really drunk, and being the anniversary of Belina's death didn't help. He went down to the basement to beat the poor kid to death. Half to death. Matthew found the body afterwards and tried to bandage him up. Matthew wasn't the sharpest tool in the box. His brother lived for a bit longer, long enough to grab a mat. Mask a machete and kill both his father and Matthew. He mu he must have died from the wounds. Jesus. Are we going to destroy this ghost? None of this will happen if, to his own. It's his own fault. What little mind had he had is no more. He is now all hate. If we don't kill him, he'll kill all of us. There's no reasoning with him. I suppose you're right. It's very sad, actually. What do you do now? We will find it. I'm going to find his body. I'm going to go to figure back his soul and destroy him. Let me know if I can be any help. I will. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, and we're gonna stop the video right here. Next time, we're gonna hopefully put an end to this. See ya.